TJ ceiling. I haven't brought that back. I'll piss you off. Bro, where's the quick. ceiling up here? Where's the ceiling oh, up here? Oh, it's because I'm short. DJ! Where's okay. the ceiling up? Look, I'm look short. at this. All right, we'll have it on you. There you go. There we go. We you got guys. it all zoned up for Shawnee Boy. <laughs> DJ! You guys, happy Thanksgiving. We're so excited you're here. Thanksgiving 2022. And what do you do on Thanksgiving if you're a lame -o? You eat turkey. But you know what? Sean and Corey don't really love traditional turkey dinners. Turkey? It's like a leaner meat. Okay. Okay, preheat the oven to 350. What? Preheat the oven to 350? I should have divorced you years ago! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our, one of our favorite sandwich spots, Fat Shallot, and we're gonna snag some turkey sandos. So thanks for being here. That's right, guys. And also want to tell you, we do have a Black Friday deal going on this upcoming Friday. If you buy over $15 worth of merch at the store, you're going to get a free bottle of six or sauce. What? 15 bucks. That's basically the cost of a bottle of hot sauce. That's pretty amazing. So you just kind of get, it's like kind of getting a free bottle of hot sauce. Black Friday. Black Friday. And let's go get some food. God, I love fat shallot. In that bag on Thanksgiving, a couple of turkey sandos from Fat Shallot acquired jump cut. This is some poor people's shit. Turkey time. When your door won't open, because there's things in the way, and you gotta like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, huh? Oh, wow. So you're doing a pot roast this year? Did you decide? Yeah, I think we're gonna do brisket. I'm gonna fix this thing. <laughs> Turns in your way. Brisket, yeah, that's a good move. And then I'm just gonna ago. do the most decadent fucking cheesy potatoes I. Mm -hmm. The Kill most em. aggressive uh, recipe I can find yeah. for sure. Kill everybody. Make it decadent. Heart, heart attacks, dude. Decadent, dude. And I'm gonna sneak some weed in there. <laughs> <laughs> Legal cannabis? Yeah, dude. That handle of that door is a ladle. I like that. Oh, that is cool. I place, like like right? dumb details like that. Yeah. They're Awning says, oh, that's a different business. Like their awning says eyelashes. That's the next building over. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, okay. Uh oh. A little pretzel bun. Yeah, one of my most hated things in America, but what are you going to do? So on this thing, it's oven roasted turkey breast, pretzel roll, avocado. We got the cucumbers taken right on off of there. There's also arugula and a basil aioli. Uh, this is some of the thicker avocado that I've seen like they just throw that bad boy right up on there And I respect it man I missed a real opportunity to like while in the short amount of time where I'm gonna be driving for the car I, My thing should have been tossing cucumbers. Yeah, I hate dude. cucumbers. It's one of the only things I don't like I think it overpowers a sandwich and it tries to make it all about itself. Are you ready to have the weight of the world crushed down upon you in your I littering ways? I heard you ways, told me it really comes at you, huh? Yeah, they love to come and tell you how that's litter. You know, animals don't eat. <laughs> all the rats and pigeons aren't eating. Whatever. Stuff's falling. Stuff be- You got a lot on the back end? <laughs> Mine's billowing out. And on my body. Yeah, it is billowing out. All right. It's a very interesting way to do Thanksgiving, but it's my preferred method. <laughs> That's right. All right, here we go. Fat shallots, turkey sando. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, mm. I just love avocado. I went right for the avocado bite. I never mind. Mm. The big chunky avocado either. I dig it. Me too. Wow. Did you get much of that aioli? Everything about this is great. This I don't is think delicious. they make a bad sandwich. No, they don't. I would say Fat Shallot is probably mm. one of the most notable food trucks in Chicago. Mm-hmm. They have a brick and mortar in Lincoln Park, and it's nice to see it's all translated very well. Mm. This is really good. I know. I had extremely low expectations for this. Really coming in high, huh? Higher than what you thought. Way higher. The pretzel bun I thought was going to be like dumb. Yeah. It's a cold sandwich, which I historically don't like. All Turkey right. is one of my least favorite meats, if I'm being quite honest. Like all these things up are set up to have this fail. That's how you know it's And good. then I bite into it and the mm -hmm. flavor is really, really good. The pretzel bun is not like um, getting in the way at all. No. And also what a great use of arugula. Mm. <laughs> I do. I like arugula. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know what's flavoring this. I'm assuming it's that aioli. This tastes amazing. It's working really well together. I don't mind a cold sandwich, but there is some heat. Like there's some warm things on it too. Like maybe the bun's a little mm -hmm. warm. And I don't normally like that. I don't mm. like the difference in things I'm. I've heard you say that before. This is very good. So this is $12.50, no side, but two honkers of a half of a sandwich. 
I am really impressed. Do you remember, we were talking about arugula, what I think is probably the best arugula moment on the show? Ooh, what's that? I don't know why I remember this. We went to Blaze Pizza, mm -hmm. and we got the White Claw Pizza, and they just dumped a bunch of arugula on it afterwards, and you were just very funny in that episode. Yeah. Oh, okay. I bet these people already know what I'm about to say. Probably. A little heavy on the leaves, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that was dumb of them. What a way to make a thing bad. Don't know if you can tell by my odd moans, but I am impressed. <laughs> is that what those are? This is one of the, the more, what's, what am I looking to say here? This is like one of the better example of teammates you didn't expect to play well together and are crushing it. Yeah, like you kind of assembled a team, a bunch of misfits kind of together, and they all just kind of came together. Maybe a good coach. This like, is Matt Shell's yeah. kind of the coach, a Gordon Bombay, if you mm -hmm. will. That's a great analogy. It's a classic sports movie. I really like that analogy. I really like that. Mm, 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 mm. They do nothing bad there. I should have never, I should have heard Fat Shallot and shut my brain off. Yeah. Lesson learned there. Almost just watched a T-bone steak happen. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It might be the best pretzel bun I've ever had at a sandwich. It for sure is for me. I think I've almost had the whole menu now. I haven't because their chicken sandwich is so good that I, I don't, shy from that very often. Buffalo chicken sandwich. Amazing. Fire. And guys, on this camera, as you can see in the glistening Chicago sun, look at the buffalo chicken sandwich from the Fat Shallot. Cheers. Cheers. That chicken's so good. Instantly, fire. If you made this at home, this would be the best thing you've ever done with your life. Truffle BLT, mm. grilled cheese with Munster sourdough, sauteed spinach and caramelized onions. Mm. They have a Reuben, they have a chicken pesto. I think I've tried the chicken pesto and it's really good. Also uh, very incredible there, the tomato bisque soup and also their potato salad, bacon and dill. They just have a very fun menu and I just think everything they do is fire. Fat shallot, I love you. I think we're sitting literally, it's right next to us. Mm -hmm. Right Man. in the heart of Lincoln Park. It was ready so fast. Mm -hmm. The woman in there working the front desk was so nice. So I'm having a good day. Wow, I'm speedy to do this. I'm almost done with the whole thing. Let's say you could only make a plate of three traditional Thanksgiving things. Only three, nothing else. You can have your beer, or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But what would that plate have on it of only three mm. traditional Thanksgiving things? Traditional Thanksgiving things, mm -hmm. okay. So you can't have like a cheeseburger or no. cold pork. This is gonna upset a lot of people <laughs> and that's okay with me. <laughs> These are my three favorite items at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You're gonna notice a complete lack of meat. <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving's all about the sides to me. That's right. Cheesy potatoes. I'm a massive fan of cheese. I'm a massive fan of potatoes. You throw them together, I'm in heaven. Give me some cheesy potatoes. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go macaroni and cheese. We're <laughs> on the cheese wagon. You're seeing a little thing going on here. <laughs> Third spot, we're going another form of potatoes. Classic mash with gravy and butter. Wow. And there's my three. I'm just doing a double potato and some cheese. 400 grams of carbs, and you're not shitting for a week. Yeah, with all I'm that cheese. That. And what That's about a great, yourself? yeah. Cheesy potatoes for sure. Uh, also a carb, I think I gotta do it. My mom's stuffing recipe. Oh, stuffing's pretty I good. I really like stuffing when it's done right. Yes. So stuffing, and I feel like I'm copying off you, but like macaroni and cheese is the right it's answer. It's so good. I was gonna say like, you're not gonna pick dinner rolls. You're not gonna pick cranberry. Mm -mm. You're not gonna, turkey's dumb. Yeah, I'm gonna go macaroni and cheese. That's the best That's move. the right answer. That is a, yeah, so I'm a carby boy too. The only thing we left off uh, was uh, family fights. We yeah, kind of easily those taken are, that. yeah, sometimes the plate gets thrown because of the family fights. There's a famous one from my family where my uncle threw a handful of mashed potatoes at his dad, my yeah. grandpa. Yeah. That's pretty great. Streamlined it into my veins. Speaking of streamlined into our veins, uh, we love to give shout outs to people that super thanks the show. You click the little money icon, the money goes straight to us. Uh, Derek Boudreaux, Derek Boudreaux, D. Cohen, Derek Boudreaux, and Derek Boudreaux. Thank you so much. Uh, Derek Boudreaux, the MVP. You guys see why he's a legend? Do you guys understand that? He is a legend. I need a, maybe a merch at one point that says like Derek Boudreaux funds, funds, my, funds my show. Yeah. Derek Boudreaux funds this show. Yeah. Man, it writes itself. Derek Boudreaux funds um, this show. Yeah, super thanks to show. We love that. We also have Venmo and PayPal. We do shout outs on different days for those. So thanks. So thank, I sound like Cindy. Hey, she's a sip of the juice. Thank you so much for all the support. <laughs> Mom asked me to ask you if there's any mail for us here by mistake. I, I don't understand you. What do you want? All right, before we go ahead and reveal our scores and write them, um, we're going to break down this turkey sandwich. Uh, you know, do our thing. Corey, you're up. Okay, uh, here's my thoughts on it. I am incredibly impressed. I should never d uh, doubt Fat Shallot. They only make top-notch food. I don't like most of the ingredients. 
on that sandwich. <laughs> yeah, they made it in a way that tasted unfreaking believable. I really think it goes to show you how a good aioli can bring the whole thing together. It's been wild. Uh, it was absolutely wild. Um, yeah, that's just, and the, it, I will say the price point, not my favorite, the 12 bucks for it. A little steep. A little bit steep, and I do think that things with whole avocado get bumped up a little bit, because avocado's <laughs> not cheap. Yeah. I, I do think it's still like, you know, Lincoln Park's expensive, that's kind of the going rate-ish. Yeah. So that's my that's my input. I like that we use Thanksgiving as the jumping point to review something turkey-based, because there's no world we would have done that on the show. Right. On a regular day. Right. So this was kind of a fun one for us. I think that, to me, is the sandwich you get from the truck like during work, like your work break. Yeah. It, it doesn't make you feel like crap. It's kind of a fresh sandwich. That's very a, it's fresh. very big. I have a whole other half in there um, that I'm gonna scarf down later. Saves really well. I think overall, there, there's like reasons you'd get that sandwich over the buffalo chicken. You'll and have a better rest of your day. You'll, you'll feel better. You'll have a better rest of your day. Yeah, it's just healthier. I mean, the pretzel bread's not, but the turkey is. Yeah. The avocado's good, the arugula, all that stuff. So I'm gonna give it a good score. Excellent. All right, Alex Trebek. Bump that shit from heaven. I'm so impressed. Question is, what exactly do I give it? I was trying to slow roll you on that one. Hey man, who was the uh, former spokesperson for Toys R Us? Was it Jeffrey the Giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I want people to start predicting what they think we're writing. Ooh, that's fun. Dude, this is really unbelievable to me. What do I go with? Okay, I, I got it. Okay. Are you doing that same dumb thing where it's a bunch of butt? Yeah, I can tell you're doing dumb dots and stuff. Oh shit, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Oh, I, ah, I see it. Damn it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. See what happens when you try to give too much effort? I, Simple sometimes wins. Uh, that was a representation of something I've also done in the men's locker room before I get kicked out of LA Fitness, too. <laughs> I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> On the count of three. Thank you, Alex. Um, Reveal your score here today for Fat Shell. It's turkey sandwich, 1250. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Hey! So I went a little higher only because I don't think there's anything else in the city that would come at that for in terms of turkey, but the price kept it low. Yeah, I didn't really, like, I, I'm kind of comparing that to, like, not real heavy, like, yeah. bad for you sandwiches, which I don't have a huge Rolodex. But you got somewhat. But a little bit. So 4.0 is a damn good score. Yes. Um, for what I think that was. Shallot. Much love. Guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, if you're around some family members today and they, uh, they're they looking, itching for some more content, tell them about number six with cheese. Yeah. We'd love that. There'll be new Sixers. Matter and of fact, then, get your whole family together and sit them down and force them to watch this episode. Yeah, so have everybody bring their phones and tablets and the TV out and stream this video like eight yeah. times. Yeah. Help the numbers. And then this will be the part where you cover your grandma's ears. <laughs> fuck shit, fuck <laughs> shit, fuck shit. Fuck. Stop it, I gotta edit this. Damn it! Uh, how about to this year, uh, comment what you're thankful for. Yeah. Mine will not be Corey. Uh, <laughs> comment what you're thankful for, uh, we'll do the same, and uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and to those of you who don't live in America, congratulations. You probably live in a better place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for you. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. Uh, kiss your loved ones, and um, see you soon. Love you guys.